Transmitted by mosquitoes, dengue fever is a threat to almost half of the world's population. Dengue is a major public health problem, particularly in Latin America and Asia, where outbreaks occur regularly. When biting a person for its blood meal, an infected mosquito releases saliva containing the dengue virus. Once in the body, the virus infects the immune cells in the skin tissue. And enters the lymphatic system. The viral infection can then trigger a strong inflammatory reaction. During the incubation period, the virus first replicates locally. And then spreads into the bloodstream of the infected person. This is called viremia. For some patients, especially children, the infection may cause severe forms of the disease, including dengue hemorrhagic fever. The blood vessels become permeable, resulting in plasma leakage. Ultimately, dengue hemorrhagic fever requires intensive hospital care. When a mosquito bites a person who's already infected, it draws in the dengue virus contained in the blood. By biting another person, it can transmit the virus and spread the disease. Dengue is transmitted by the bite of an Aedes mosquito infected with any one of the four dengue viruses. Its symptoms appear in 3 to 14 days after the infective bite. Dengue fever is a severe flu-like illness that affects infants, young children and adults. Symptoms range from a mild fever to incapacitating high fever with severe headaches, pain behind the eyes, muscle and joint pain and rash. There are no specific antiviral medicines for dengue. It is important to maintain hydration. Use of aspirin and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs is not recommended. More than 70% of the disease burden is in Southeast Asia and the Western Pacific area. In Latin America and the Caribbean, the incidence and severity of disease are increasing rapidly. Increase in international air travel is facilitating the rapid global movement of dengue viruses. This increases the risk of dengue fever epidemics by introducing new dengue viruses into susceptible populations.
the main problem kasi dito kung bakit nag-paper says is that yung mga tao natin, the general population, hindi sila sumusunod o hindi nila ginagawa posible yung kanilang parte. Alam mo, yung lahat ng government units, especially the Department of Health, kahit nakikita natin everyday yan sa media, sinasabi, tinuturo yan. Ganito ang dapat gawin, tanggalin yung mga itlugan, magsuot ng ganito, ang hakabang damit, maglalabas. Yung problema siguro nito, yung hindi pagsunod ng mga tao. Eh. Hindi sila sumusunod, kaya hanggang ngayon nag-persist pa rin ang dentist.